Every week my mind is blown with all the cool new things coming out in the world of AI, but the last few days have been absolutely insane. So let's dive straight in. First up, we're gonna have a look at Emo, which is this ridiculous lip sync model made by the Alibaba Research Group. Just take a look at some of these clips. Okay, Mayday. This beat is cray cray ray J H A H A H A. Laughing all the way to the bank. I spray flames that cannot tame or placate the monster. You get in my way, I'ma feed you to the monster. We were gone, we were gone Can the dream that can be so As you can see, this thing is absolutely insane. The emotion that the faces show is something we haven't seen before, nowhere near. Like those eyebrows moving, it just looks so realistic. I love all the movements and all the facial features. Absolutely crazy. I can't wait to play around with this, which you cannot do as of yet, sadly. But in the world of AI, nothing ever takes very long, so I'm super excited for this. If you don't want to wait for that, Pika Labs just released their new lip syncing feature for Pro members. Oh my god. I'll be damned. Is this real? Pika now supports lip sync. And it is truly spectacular. Wait, hold up, hold up, hold up. These things can talk? For real? What kind of dark sorcery is this? Mon dieu, j'entends une voix. Well, I'm officially speechless. Up. So that looks really great. Definitely nowhere near as good as the Alibaba emo, in my opinion. But we'll see. Now, I won't be going into OpenAI's Sora, as you've probably heard enough about that now. One thing I did find very interesting, though, is Tyler Perry puts $800 million studio expansion on hold after seeing OpenAI's Sora. And I can't say that's not a smart decision, but this just shows some of the implications that all this new AI tech is having. Crazy. Next up, we have LTX Studio, which has just been released by Light Tricks, And this is an AI-powered filmmaking studio that can generate scripts, editable storyboards, which is very cool, and short video clips. So let's have a look at this little demo trailer here. This is the future of visual storytelling. LTX Studio gives form to your ideas, bringing them to life. Just a handful of words can transform your concept into a story. Weave it into a compelling narrative. Can we make it a regular courtroom drama set in New York City? Sure. Then generate to elevate it into a grand production with music, dialogue, and sound effects. Stop. Yeah, I like it. But can the car be red? You got it. You're gonna hate me, but can we try it with a guy? No problem. Actually, let's go back to a girl. Okay, how about storyboarding? No problemo. We need an extra scene here. Simple. So, I have some ideas about casting. Okay. Can we talk lighting? Sure. Does this thing do titles? How's this? Whatever your creative wishes, LTX Studio harnesses the power of AI and gives you the ability to supercharge the creative production process. From camera angles to casting, through styling and contextual editing, LTX is a holistic movie maker for all. LTX Studio. Join the waitlist today. So this looks very cool as well. There's definitely some things in here I've never seen before. I really love this storyboarding concept. This should be amazing. You can join the waitlist for now over at ltx.studio. Next up we have Ideogram, which I always loved since it came out. So they just released a new 1.0 version. Now Ideogram has always been amazing for text in images. I still feel like it's not on par with Dolly 3 for the actual characters and everything, but for text it's really really good. So here's that little video.
So I just tried out the new 1.0 and I said the words subscribe to AI quest drawn in sand on the beach. This one looks really cool, but it's missing the eye unless it's right there. Here's the second one. Absolutely perfect. Subscribe to AI quest. This is really, really good. Again, it's just gotten so good with the adherence to the prompt. It did use magic prompt, which is its own prompt perfecter built in which I think definitely made these images a lot better. And this one missed it again, but two out of four that are just absolutely perfect. I think that's a huge leap forward. So I'm really happy with that. And here's my thumbnail I just created with Ideogram. Amazing. Something else interesting, Apple quietly released a few updates to iOS. And I just checked this on my phone and it's there. In your iOS Photos app, it can now recognize at the bottom where the little eye usually is, it can recognize what kind of subject is in your photo, and then you can actually search for that. So this guy has a lot of photos of bulldogs, but apart from that, you can now just search for a subject in your iPhone photos, which I think is very cool. Next up, we have Xiaomi, which is known as kind of the Apple of China, except it's far more affordable. They just released a whole new line of phones with AI baked right into it. The model of the subject. This is an AI portrait. It recreates a photorealistic likeness of them that the AI can then work with. With this AI portrait, you can now submit a prompt for the software to generate a brand new, totally unique image. So that's insane. I can imagine every single influencer on the planet using these phones and buying these phones for just this purpose if it's as good as it looks right now so you don't actually have to go anywhere anymore you can just ask your phone to make a photo in any situation if you want to do this now you have to use LoRa's which is very time consuming and annoying I'm assuming this will just look at all your photos in your library and then generate a model off of that so that's very cool then we have Google DeepMind who just created Genie which is a generative interactive environment basically you can create 2d video games from just a simple sketch or photo or any other type of image now this has not been released yet but you can read their paper on it imagine in the future just being able to make an entire video game just by drawing it out this feels reminiscent of tl draws app which i made a video on in which you could also create games by sketching it out however this looks far more advanced you can check that video by the way in the card in the top right also, I've partnered with at least one other AI YouTuber and created a Discord for anyone who loves AI. If you have any questions about anything or want to share some of your creations or just talk about AI, join our Discord. Link is in the description. Next, we have some news from Adobe who have just created Project Music Gen AI Control, which people are calling the Photoshop of Music. Don from Adobe here. I'm super excited to show you this new project from Adobe Research using generative AI to co-create music. Let's go check it out. What's up, Nick? I heard you got a new project cooking up. Yeah, I've been working on some music co-creation with Precise Control. This is for uh, helping with the chorus verse structure. Take a listen to this. It generated that by itself? Yeah. What about loops? We can generate loops just from a text prompt. So what else can you do with this? Well, you can actually combine all these things together. So I can take the length extension and also fade it out. Or I can control the intensity up or down. And fade out. So that was just a little preview. I'm excited to see where Adobe is going to take this. So we should be adding that to our list of AI music and audio generators we have right now. And that is all the news I have for you today. Now, even in the past few days, there's a lot of news that I haven't been able to cover here, but I thought these were the most important, coolest ones in my opinion. If you want to see more AI news videos like this, please let me know in the comments. Leave a like while you're at it, and I'll see you next week.